Hello friends, uh, now today we are going to implement graph using adjacency matrix in C. So, how we can represent graph? Uh, there are two ways, one is adjacency matrix and one is adjacency list. In this video, we are going to see adjacency, how, we, uh, how we can store a graph using adjacency matrix. So, suppose this is a graph and uh, we are going to create uh, an adjacency matrix here. So, how we can create it? So, if there is, uh, there is an edge from 0 to 0, then the value, uh, the, if there is an edge, the value is 1, and if there is an uh, there is an edge, then the value is 0. So, if the, is there any edge from 0 to 0? No. So, the value is 0. Is there any edge from 0 to 1? Yeah, there is an edge. From 0 to 2? Yeah, there is also an edge. But from 0 to 3 there is no edge, so there is the value is 0. From 0 to 4 there is an edge. In the same way, we are just filling these values 1 to 1, 1 to 0 there is an edge, 1 to 1 there is no edge, 1 to 2 there is an edge, 1 to 3 there is no direct edge, okay. So 1 to 4 there is no edge, okay. In this way, and 2 to 0 there is an edge 2 to 1 there is an edge 2 to 2 there is not an edge 2 to 3 there is an edge 2 to 4 there is not an edge so in the same way we are going for 3 the uh, 3 has only its edge is 2 so only this value is 1 and other values are 0 ok and 4 is having only edge with 0 so only this value is 1 other values are 0 oh, sorry so now let us try to implement this in our program so we need a matrix and in which we are getting the values so this is the basic syntax of any program in C uh, now just create a multi-dimensional multi array that is of interior type name is adjacency matrix ok oh, and the size here I don't know so first we will get input from the user that how many nodes he, want, he or she wants to enter so, okay so print here the num number of vertices okay mm. Send the address of n, then we are passing number of number of vertices, then we are creating of the array or array of number of vertices, right? On um, this size, okay. So the array is, is array is created. Now, what you are going to do is print here. A enter and H. Okay, so we are while. Ah, uh, let's take here. E D one. Sorry, source destination. Okay, source not equal to it's minus one. We are terminating it. Okay. destination not equal to minus one okay so and or okay. then in the loop we are saying that 
and when we will uh, enter an age from minus one to minus one, it will terminate. Okay, till that we are giving the edges percent d percent d from the two node. Okay, so enter an age percent d percent d address of source comma address of destination from source to destination. Okay, so. What we are doing is enter an age, okay, from percent d to percent d, okay, from R, okay, okay, then what we are doing from we are doing from node zero to number of vertices to node percent d to percent d. Okay. So the first is zero, obviously. Sorry. Let's directly put here zero. Zero to number of nodes, number of vertices, comma number of vertices. Okay, from zero to that node, enter the nodes. Okay, then we are getting source and destination, and for the values of source and destination, a a d j of source to destination, we are putting one. So here we are creating the adjacency matrix for an undirected graph. In in undirected graph, uh, if there is an h from zero to one, okay, then there is also h from one to zero. Okay, in the same way, from one zero to one, okay, then one to zero. So what we are are doing here is from source to destination we are adding an h. From destinations to source, we have to also add an h. Okay, we have to initialize this uh, uh, matrix to zero first. So for for integer i from zero to i will less than number of vertices and i plus plus. Okay, for integer j is equal to zero, j will less than number of vertices and j plus plus. Okay, till integer of I and J set the initial values of all the variables in the matrix as zero, and then enter the edges. Then the edges are entered. Okay. Then let's make the function here that is void print graph, which is actually printing our graph. Okay. It is taking an integer array over. So uh, we are taking this number of vertices as a global variable so that I can access it also it in the main function. Okay, so integer number of vertices. Good. Now the number of vertices will be here. Okay. So here I want to pass the width. Yes, the length. Can see. So, and here we want to want it to print the graph. So for the i is equal to zero, i less than number of vertices and i plus plus. For a, we also wanted to add a backslash and so the j j is equal to zero, less than the number of vertices and j plus plus. So uh, now we wanted to print. Okay, print f percent d. Means, uh, okay, let's get some space here. Okay, then address. No, sorry. Adjacent of i j. 
is printed okay and after the completion of the one first row let's add the backslashes so that it can print the matrix okay now we have reading the graph also printing the graph let's call this function and graph here and pass the adjacency matrix here save the program and let's try to run it so gcc graph 1.c okay what's the problem here please integration of Tjare that is uh, taking okay okay so the mistake that I have done here is uh, <laughs> I have okay the spelling mistake is there okay good so okay now it has run successfully let us try to for this or this graph okay. so there are total five nodes okay enter an age from node 0 to 5 to node 0 to 5 okay there is an age from 1 to 2 there is an age from 2 to 3 there is an age from 1 to 0 there is an age from 2 to 0 and 0 to sorry 0 to 4 okay in any so to stop it minus 1 minus 1 okay and this is our matrix uh, it's quite similar to this quite name exactly similar to this okay 1101 in this way okay in the next video we are going to see how we can implement bfs and dfs using adjacency matrix